All right, so some of you have asked for a resource of how to get the medical history open. So the first thing I did was log into the office manager and then I clicked on family file and then I'm going to click on this icon that select a family or a patient and this screen pops up. So right now I am under last name for patient information. So I'm going to type in um, Paula's last name because we pick on Paula all the time. So I see her name right here. I'm going to double click and now it's bringing me to her family file page. So now that I have the right patient, I want to go to her chart. So I'm going to click on patient chart. And this screen pops up, the medical history review. And in order to populate a clinical note, I am going to click these three boxes that say no change. And then I'm gonna select okay. If I didn't want to start a clinical note, I would bypass that page and just hit cancel. So now I'm on her fake restoration chart and I want to see that I started a clinical note. So I'm gonna to go to this icon right here that says clinical note, and I'm gonna double click and maximize so I can see all of my options. Then I'm gonna to go to this corner that says clinical notes. I'm gonna expand all. I'm gonna to go to the page. You always wanna work inside of a page, not inside of a note because notes can have multiple pages. So see, this brought up the um, medical history template, which is fantastic. But now what I'm missing is my provider date stamp. So I'm gonna go to this calendar, click on insert um, date and provider number. So this is my way of signing this chart. And then if I have medications, I'm gonna go down to medications and start filling this in using the template. And I will post what that template looks like that you come up with. But in order to get vital signs, you're gonna be in clinical exams with vital signs. And then that's gonna pop up this template. So I'm gonna mark that she was prehypertensive, hit okay. And then now this template has populated my clinical note and you will fill in what the blood pressure is, the pulse and the ASA category. At this point, you'll be signing up for an instructor signature before you move ahead with any of your other templates. Okay, I hope all this helps.